everybody. I'm your buddy Sabina. And I'm buddy Pramishan. So, in today's video, you've been writing up that balloon in your hand. I'm going to blow the balloon, Ka. If I say you that there's a way to blow balloons without using your mouth or without even using hand pumps, will you believe that? Is it magic? Well, not exactly. It's actually a science experiment. Well, in this science experiment, we can actually inflate a balloon without blowing it or using a hand pump. So, come on, let us look at this experiment. Today, we are going to be blowing our balloon in two ways. The first way we are going to be using caustic soda or sodium hydroxide and aluminium foil. And the second way, Prano, what is it? Baking soda and vinegar. Yes, we are going to be using baking soda and vinegar for the second one. Now, let's get started. So, in today's two ways of blowing a balloon, we are using chemical components. When these components react with each other, a gas is emitted. And this gas is what we use to fill our balloon. It's cool, isn't it? Come on, let's get started with the experiment. So, these are the materials that we need to make a floating balloon. We have a bottle filled with water. We have the balloon. Yes, we have a balloon. Over here, we've actually attached this balloon to this bottle cap and we've also made a hole in the cap over here as you can see and we've actually made it more secure with this string so that it doesn't come up and over here we have this container just for safety and we have caustic soda or sodium hydroxide over here and then aluminium foil over here we have just taken aluminium foil and then we've just crushed it into these balls yeah. So let's get started with the experiment. First, let's place the bottle inside the container like so. And now, Pranam will be adding. Next, we are going to add the caustic soda. So, friends, now we've added the caustic soda, and now we are going to just close the cap. Now, all you have to do is to wait. The mixture inside this bottle will actually produce hydrogen gas and will inflate the balloon. You need to be very careful. The bottle will heat up in a while. <gasps> Friends, look, it's inflating. Be very careful and move away. Guys, look, the water bottle shape has changed. So over here we have this bottle quarter filled with white vinegar and over here I have taken this balloon in which I have some baking soda. Now I am going to just put the balloon on this bottle. So guys this is how it looks. So now what I am going to do is that I am going to tilt the balloon slowly so that only little Baking soda comes in contact with the vinegar. So over here, I have tilted the balloon a little bit so that a bit of baking soda comes in contact with the vinegar at time and then carbon dioxide is released. Guys, working! Look, the balloon is inflating and inside this balloon, there is full of carbon dioxide. So, friend, we've inflated our balloon in two ways. Now, tell me, is this a science experiment or a magic trick? Science experiment. Are you sure? Yeah. It's correct. So, friend, I understood that this is a science experiment. Now, I hope you all also understand. So friends, we all hope you like this video. We also hope that you try this experiment and blow your balloons without actually blowing it. Yeah. We are actually going to take this balloon out and enjoy playing with it. Till we meet next time, let's play, explore, learn and go together. Bye-bye.